Three, two, one. Do it! Do it! Oh my god. Three, two, one. Ah. Sorry for the, uh... Hey everybody, how are you doing today? I just had a... I just had to edit out a, a very offensive thing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> welcome to the show. Uh, this is uh, our show. Obviously, you know what the title is. It's above us. <laughs> it's above us. It's, yeah, it's, it's there. in the title right it's up there. It's in the title. We've already decided. We've definitely decided on a name, and it's in the title. And you can see what the name is uh, right, right there, there. Right there. There you go. <laughs> so, um... So, so uh, yeah. like always, uh, I like, like always, like seconds. <laughs> like seconds. We know what we're doing. <laughs> like, <He's> professional. <laughs> we uh, <laughs> we got this beer called Line and Kugel uh, Berry Shandy. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what a shandy is? Um, I don't know shit about shit. So. Okay. Uh, a shandy. Luckily, thank you for uh, telling us the process of creating beer in the comments. By the way, we really appreciated that. It was very informative, and uh, now we know everything <laughs> about it. The uh, <laughs> a shandy. We'll talk about the chemical compounds later because uh, you know we know that now. A shandy was typically known as a beer mixed with like a uh, like a lemon like a lemon lime soda or lemon soda, but uh, but currently, but realistically, it's just a a shandy is a beer brewed on top of a soda. Okay. So it's like brewed into a soda, you know, and so a berry shandy. So that makes sense. That makes total sense because I've drank summer shandies before, and those were like what is it like porch and shandy and shit like that. Yeah. And it was all like. Lemon flavored. And yeah. It, 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 yeah, it has like a pop taste. Uh, almost. Line and Kugel is a brand that definitely took the uh, the bull by the horns. Uh, <laughs> for sure, for sure. And uh, they, they definitely are producing a lot of uh, different f uh, flavors of shandies. They're definitely, it's not, it's not all lemony and, you know. And, uh, so. I know some people prefer, like, they don't like Line and Kugel. They think it's a little, like, fake tasting or whatever. But personally, I don't get that. Uh, I like Line and Google for what it is. I like being able to have several different options of different flavors. Uh, and berry is fucking right up my creek. So. Yeah, it's made with. It's actually made with blackberry juice. Blackberry juice. Ooh. Yeah. So blackberry shandy. Um, do you have any idea where the term shandy itself like, came from? Is that like something that we could? It's like a bar term. Find out. Okay. Yeah, they were like, 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 you know, yeah like, pass me that shandy over well, there. No, no like, I, I mean, they just mix it. Like, like, yeah, like I said, yeah, that, they, that sounds good. Yeah, they they would just mix stick. it. It's like they would mix beer with... We're giving that like, guy shandy. Like a Sprite or something. They would mix beer with weird stuff. Yeah, yeah, and then they'd like go from there. Yeah. Call so, it shandy. Uh, I, I don't know where there's... Instead of telling I don't know us why how to uh, say it, a make shandy. a shandy, because we already know how you do that, okay? We need you guys to find out the original first usage of the word shandy. Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first usage. Why the did they use created. it? Oh, that's going to spark such a controversy in, <laughs> in comments. They're going to be like, no, it was my dad. He's the first one that used it. <laughs> well, we got to. Uh, dad was a lying bitch. <laughs> we got a fun show today. Today, we're going to uh, be taking a ride on the, uh, the member, the memberberry train. Taking, taking some members down to the barracks. Taking a, a little bit of memories. We're going to be... Uh, That's actually the reason why we got the Barry Shandy. So. For what? The members. Oh, the members. Because it's berries. Cut. You piece of shit. We'll cut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, my we're, God. We're, we're keeping that. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? Like berry shandy, like member, you know, like yeah. and use that as a, yeah, exactly. Berry shandy. Member them. Member them berries. Ber member berry berries. Shandy. But uh. Episode. We'll talk about like cut content and. Remember that episode? Dead. Yeah. Member <laughs> member Juarez. So like so uh so today we're gonna be the checking out. Gun? So today. Remember Battle Royale? Remember YouTube? Remember YouTube? <laughs> yeah, it's dead, by the way. It's no, it's, it might not be dead oh, now. Okay. Uh, it's actually been revived. Stock prices are uh, skyrocketing because they've overcome 
the uh, great great trials and tribulations of depression. 2020, whenever this is actually airing. Just, yeah, it's like the lake house. Yeah. <laughs> Not the Count of Reeves. Count of Reeves, he puts the the letters in the in the uh, the notebook. But I mean, and he puts the letters in a, in a thingy and it goes to the future. God, no one is going to have any fucking clue what that's uh, Okay. <laughs> it's okay. But, uh, <laughs> but, um, but moving on, we're going to get ahead with the, we have a bit today. Today we, uh, we're going to be uh, looking at old 90s commercials. Things, you know, uh, they just kind of, um, they disappear and we just kind of forget about things. And yeah, absolutely <laughs> The things that are gone? Things that are gone? No, because I don't remember that they're gone. <laughs> you, do you remember? Uh, do you remember Bud um, Dry? Bud Dry? Yeah, but like Budweiser Dry. Bud Dry. No. Nope. You remember Bud Dry? Yeah, this is gonna be a good segment because I have a bad memory. As do you case. remember? Um, You'd like show me something from last week, and I'll be like, damn, <laughs> gone with the times. <laughs> gone too soon. Do you remember uh, Jolt? Jolt. Jolt uh, soda. Uh, was it um, or was it a soda or was it like an alcoholic? It's like an energy drink. And it, it really doesn't matter because that's actually it's it's slowly coming back. I think it's on the west coast right now, but it was gone. Um, let's get a confirmation for that. Let us know if you're drinking <laughs> Jolt right now. If you're listening to the podcast, drinking Jolt energy drink, let us know. <laughs> but, uh, um, we might need to might need to get. Well, some I, I think it's like Jolt Cola, but it had like it was basically an energy drink. Jolt Cola. It was like it was like Jolt. It was like the same thing as um, what's that uh, what's that weird one that just came back in Louisiana? You can get it at Louisiana right now. A uh, surge, surge. Yeah, okay. It was like it was like was a, surge considered an energy drink? Yeah, it was. See, I mean, like they didn't have like that citrus. title at the time. See, Jolt surge was out before Red Bull, right? Jolt was kind of like the Coca Cola surge flavor. Coca Cola. It was okay. like it was like surge, but it tastes like Coke. Where surge is. Served it tastes Gross. like Sprite. Oh, well, I mean, then again, I haven't tried, like, a uh, Coke-flavored, like, energy drink, so I can't really comment on it. It <laughs> seems like every every energy drink you have is a mixture of, like, I don't know, Sprite and something else. I drink, uh, yeah, like, I drink Balls, uh, B-A-W-S, yeah, B-A-W-L, Balls Root Beer. Grab Balls and, they, and that was a uh, energy drink root beer. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Those are very good. I remember yeah. there was what game did that did they uh, release that with? Like they did a promotional Balls? advertising. Yeah, they did like something like Run Like Hell. I think was uh, I, don't I, don't know. Know. I don't know something like that. No, I don't know. It was like all. a promotional thing along with balls. But it's <laughs> like the the tagline was grab your balls and run like hell. <laughs> do, do they still sell bazooka bubble gum? Um, they might. I, I don't think it comes with the comic books anymore. See, yeah, we gotta we gotta sit here and di- 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 differentiate between like the places we are because like like we're talking to that Canadian guy not too long ago. Like they still have candy cigarettes <laughs> like over in Canada right now. So like you might get you know the Suka <laughs> bubble gum from ten years ago as well or something. That, yeah, who like, knows? There's no telling. Who to knows? Mention, like if you go, but um, Europe, we got uh, we got five, we got five commercials that we're gonna play for you guys, and we're gonna sort of just you know commentate over them and just talk about these these old '90s commercials. They're all from the '90s. These are things that do not exist anymore. Okay. And we are going to listen to them and comment on them. And our first uh, first thing is a is a old nineties Taco Bell commercial. So if you're a two thousands kid, then you know you'll never ever get these references. But but we'll talk about it. And or just, if you're an eighties kid, you were like, nah, that's that shit's too bad. Wow. Okay. Thirty nine cents. Hold on. No. Pause it right now. Because I think we need a, an explanation that's, that's of what why. the fuck is going on. So, there, <laughs> for one, guys driving down the road on a like piano, like a speedster, right? Like a yeah, speed, speedster yeah, piano, piano uh, playing the piano and singing 
I, I don't know, like fucking like, what is it, the Meat Ball song or whatever? You know, I it's get It's kind of like that theme or whatever. Singing the Taco Bell theme song. Is that the Taco Bell theme I think song? it is because this, this, this actually has multiple, this actually has multiple ones and there's two different uh, people playing it too. Also, they're showing booties too. Like, and there's three, like, uh, so there's three thick, ladies, thick three ladies dancing on the road while uh, he's driving the piano. <laughs> and they're singing about the taco, but the new is it new? New fiesta. Or is it like a, it's new. Oh, they're just doing it at the time. It's a fiesta menu. The, this is the key, people. If you take nothing else from this, understand this. This was what 20, 20 years ago, probably less, probably like fifteen years ago. Thirty-six cent menu is what they're advertising. 36 cents. Dude, you could be hella broke. Go eat one 36 cent item and then not have to eat anything else all day. I'm, I'm just saying. Is that nuts? 36 cents. Is that, is that, I, survive I, and I'm just, I, I wanted, the reason why I even seen that, Mike, I, I, and then you could get a water. 36 cent menu. Just think, is that just crazy how much things cost now, though? It's inflation completely. Yeah. It's just kind of, it's just insane. It's just almost, just, just think if everything, if we were making the same amount right now and things still cost they did in the 90s. Because, all right, like, say if they were doing that, what would it be now? Like, dollar fifty. You think? Yeah, I, I say it'd probably be like a dollar fifty. So it's like they They still have a dollar menu, menu, though. They do have a dollar menu, but not with items like that. Yes, the menu. Yeah, like, and even their dollar stuff now is like, you know, dollar twenty and dollar thirty. They're well, they're well, their tacos though, were uh, I think their tacos were still forty nine cents. Forty nine cents. Yeah. So this is the Fiesta menu was ten cents cheaper than their tacos. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know anyone that ever just goes there and buys actual tacos. <laughs> like, I don't know anybody. Either. Yeah. No, I don't know either. They have so much other stuff. Sorry if we're misrepresenting you, uh, 49 cent taco buyer. <laughs> 49 taco. cent taco buyer. <laughs> no, tacos aren't 49 cents You're the cents real anymore. MVP. You're the one that knows how to save money. But yeah, just Taco Bell. Like all the 49 cent taco the, people the Fiesta that menu. have survived through the years are now millionaires. And that's why you don't really hear about them anymore. You see, the, oh, they, speaking they of Taco Bell. Own taco Bell. Speaking of Taco Bell, the guy that... um. The CEO, the CEO of Taco Bell just left to Chipotle, and now he's running Chipotle. He's about to he he wants to change up their menu. Kind of run into the ground, add a little bit of like chemicals and shit. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But yeah, I'm actually, not too surprised though. So if you didn't know this, uh, Taco Bell is owned by Pepsi. I want like so y'all need to know that right there. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a chain. So, though they have, like, certain items and menus or whatever, that's why, like, it's all kind of, like, intermixed in, in together. Like, that's why you could get a Pepsi Fire and Ice there uh, back in the day. Yeah, the, 2002. Uh, Mountain Dew, Baja Blast, and all that shit. But yeah, 39 cents menu. I just want to say, you know, no longer. We have no, we no yeah, longer have... Yeah, let's finish have... this gym. I'm sorry. Oh, the snacks up. That actually does look really good. <laughs> okay, so they're uh, Run they're, the border. they're riding through the desert, and this guy just said, "Sorry, sorry, girls, I would let you sit on my race car piano, but." I gotta get to that 39 cent menu. <laughs> 39 cent He just left menu. three women in the desert to die. That's how because well. Because he was hungry. That's how, no, that's how great that 39 cent menu was. Though. Yeah, not to mention, it actually looked great. If you compare, like, the food that Taco Bell sells right now to, like, what that food, food just Yeah, they had like, a fucking, what is that, a tostada? That looked, yeah, that looked Whatever, like that. real ingredients. Yeah. Like, like, not like, I don't know, I lab grown know. bullshit or whatever. That's crazy. This next thing is um, is a it's a old it's a cereal. It's actually it's actually probably my favorite cereal. It was discontinued due to just the expenses of uh, of using real nuts. 
the, the you know uh, nuts. Yeah, yeah. nuts nuts got expensive. And actually, did you know that um, what, what's that? What's that uh, weird? Um, Which is amazing because probably like nowadays the reason why it's not coming back is the fact that like you probably shouldn't feed it to your children. Allergies. No, no, no. Just like most cereals from the '90s, that's what they are. They're like no, no, no. At, well, at, the thing is, uh, it started getting controversial because of the allergies, okay. and they switched the formula to kind of like fix the allergy problem and the fix the. What do you mean? They started using like fake nuts, like yeah, just like oats, just like the oats people. Who's that oats? The oats brand. None of that um, real nut connection. Yeah, that they, they. But anyways, they they quickly after they switched that for they switched the um. I think fake nuts would be a good band. Name. And they switched the ingredients. They quickly went to fun. But here is we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna watch this here uh, this old '90s commercial for this cereal called you can, Clusters. You can title this one "Fake Nuts." Tired of the same old flakes? Try Cluster cereal. It's got a bunch of Yeah. Dude, I remember clusters. Yeah. The honey nut clusters. Clusters starts with crispy flakes with wheat and bran, but then adds clusters with nuts and honey for a sweet, nutty taste. Thank you. Thank you, pause it, pause it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so essentially what was going on is like they were doing just a normal ad for uh, the cereal, making it look super delicious. Um, it looked really good, looked really nice. Uh, I would I would eat some of those clusters. In fact, I have. They're delicious. They are quite delicious. One of the best cereals I've ever had. Right. There's a Facebook page specifically to bring back clusters. Really? Yeah. I'm it's, gonna, I'm gonna... it's pretty nuts. <laughs> Pretty fake nuts. Pretty fake nuts. No, um, so. <laughs> but the squirrel. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Tell them about the squirrel. The squirrel, squirrel uh, there's a, there's a, there's, they have a mascot that's a squirrel, and the squirrel comes in in a, uh, looks like a Terminator outfit. <laughs> <laughs> and he the, takes the, door the just cereal. Busts down. The door busts down. He destroys the, the fucking door. And then it's just this like Terminator squirrel. My God! Yeah. No, it was like Robocop. That's what it was. It, was, it looked like Robo Robocop. Yeah, it was and Robocop Terminator squirrel. Mixed. But that's uh, and that's just something that's missing. Like you know, that cereal has gone. But just what what I've noticed is that commercials, man. Whatever happened to like <laughs> those? Whatever happened to elaborate, crazy commercials like that? So what it is is, you know, like most companies nowadays. They will outsource to like marketing firms and whatnot, and they'll get advertisers that base uh, off of like uh, different demographics. And they'll say, We know, judging from this data, that this is what this commercial needs to be. It doesn't matter what the content is inside of it, as long as it focuses on this, this, and this. And that's why you get. Like that's why like all com all commercials today are like kind of repetitive nonsense. Like yeah, there might be one like funny instance or whatever, but it doesn't have like you don't have like a cool mascot or whatever. You don't have like a little bit of you know it's it's nothing relatable or whatever. They'll they'll get a bunch of random bullshit numbers and then go with that. I mean, who has who has a crazy piano man behind a truck? Yeah, you know what when's I mean. The when's the, the last time you drag seen drag star? What happened to jingles? Yeah, do you hear any jingles anymore? No, I mean no. I don't. I don't ever hear jingles anymore. No, it's like full. it's just crazy. Hey, if y'all know any cereals that have been discontinued, uh, like C three PO cereal or anything, please list them down below. <laughs> what's 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 something that you miss? Uh, that uh, that's actually yeah, that's a good focus point to sit here and bring up like, what are some of the cereals that you probably ate as children? And are now no longer like accessible. You can't yeah. get them anywhere. I mean, what's, why, I mean um, why did they mean so much to you? Like, why was that your favorite? Let us know. <laughs> uh, there's that, and we're gonna move. And on. then we'll shit on that. We're gonna move on to the uh, the next commercial here. Moving right along, uh, Butterfinger oh, BBs. Yeah, I, I remember these. These were awesome. A B B B. Baby. Ah. Yeah. Uh. Baby. 
Peanut buttery Butterfinger BB. Is there any snack as crisp No, there isn't. J, J, L, N, O. H U R S T U W X Y. Butterfinger BBs. From Nestle. See you later, homeboy. <laughs> so you, do you remember that? Yeah, I do. And so you can tell immediately after like having watched this commercial, this is where those focus points started to come in because there wasn't as much focus on certain things. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, like this is where they started looking at like where what they needed to sell. What's cool about this is the fact that it incorporates The Simpsons. Also, yeah. Butterfinger BBs like. They're they right. Do they even have those anymore? No, that's like, what I'm saying. No, these are things they, that are gone. They're, they're gone. gone. Okay, yeah. They're not yeah, yeah. Right. Butterfinger you BBs missed, are gone. You missed out. Butterfinger BBs were the shit, just letting you know. Like, uh, I mean, the Simpsons promoted them. They were probably really, <laughs> really bad for your teeth or something. Like that. Besides <laughs> they probably that, were. Like, uh, <laughs> could you imagine? They're like Reese's I, Pieces, but Butterfinger. Yeah. What I really, really like about this commercial, though, is the fact that it incorporates something that was relevant at the time, like super relevant. Like, can you imagine nowadays, like, I don't know, what, like, if they, yeah, if they did, like, a Reese's Pieces commercial or with some a, brand, or they launched, like, a new type of, like, candy like that, but with, like, say, like, uh, what's the guy from Bob's Burgers? Um, <laughs> I can't remember his name. I can't yeah, imagine yeah, yeah. that. But, like, yeah, it, like, say, like, and it's just Bob sitting there, like, Oh shit! What's going on? And then Gene's well, like, "Hey, Dad, blah blah blah, I got you know, this." I, it might be it might be rough to say, but I just don't think, for some reason, characters nowadays <laughs> they don't have the same impact as they did then. Uh, what's, what's like going the on? Simpsons, what you got right there, and the. Oh, I got Reese's Fast Break. Oh, the, Reese's Not Rages. The Simpsons are a big, but Beavis and Butthead used to be in a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah, for you sure, know, sure. Just like there are certain characters that just have like these huge impacts. You just just, there's not that many things having impact nowadays that aren't, you know, ridiculous. Yeah, or if it was like Jake the Dog from like Adventure Time advertising <laughs> something. Fruit roll ups. Yeah, fruit roll ups. <laughs> yeah. But I'm trying to think of things well. Everything's so generic now. That's what, that's the problem. Everything's so generic. It's everything's like, trying to copy the Simpsons. It doesn't have like an identity, like as far as like. like a lot of is that weird? Food, Every, food everything is unique, candy. but it lacks identity. Yeah. Is that the problem? Like a uh, new Snickers or something. I don't know. It's just weird. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just a reflection. We're just reflecting. We're helping you guys reflect. What's a candy What's a candy that you missed out on? <laughs> uh, fucking candy cigarettes. That's what Candy <laughs> cigarettes. Yeah, you Unless you're in Canada. I can't get those anymore. All right, let's, uh, we're going to finish up this segment real quick. We may bring this back later for uh, you know more discontinued items, but... Uh, there used to be a uh, chain. It was a, a restaurant chain. You know, kind of like uh, what's a big restaurant chain? Chili's. Chili's is probably. Yeah, Chili's everywhere. is probably the biggest. It's probably, it's Chili's probably is the everywhere. Biggest restaurant chain. I mean, but but Chi Chi's uh, triple dipper. Chi Chi's was a. It was it was probably in every major city. I know we had one in Houston. There was one. You know, there you, there was one all along the East Coast. I'm not sure about West Coast. It was all down the center. But um, Chi Chi's was a really big restaurant. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna play the commercial, and uh, or I'm gonna play a little bit of it. I'm I'm not too sure if it's any. Can you have too much? What? <laughs> what? Seven forty nine. Dude, for P. No way. Also, how were they able to pay for that much airtime? I don't like, know. That was a lot of airtime for that <laughs> shitty commercial. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not shitty. Uh, it did the job. I mean, it's 90s. It's just low, low budget, I guess. Yeah. It's early 90s, too. But, um, Chi Chi's. Let's talk about Chi Chi's real quick. This is, this is a, um,. All right, so this like, is kind of sad. I have no like. I remember seeing that name. Like I remember the yeah. logo, but I'd never eaten there. I haven't. I don't know anything about it. So yeah, like, I'm sure to get like your. Expertise but I'm sure it's Chi Chi. But I'm sure. I'm sure it's been. It was defunct before I even 
got to try it. I feel I feel like I've been there once before with like a grandparent or something. But um, the thing about Chi Chi's is I just wanted I wanted to bring up something like how things disappear and like why things disappear and I, w- I want to talk about buyouts and company buyouts and stuff. No, oh, well, we're going into that that side of things. Well, it's just no, but I mean, no, uh, going to the dark reality. No, it's what just it is just how, how crazy society. how crazy things can happen. So Chi Chi's was, it was growing fast. It was it was basically in every major city. You know, it wasn't everywhere, but every big city, Houston. You know all the big cities. So what happened? Is they probably got bought out and then no, no, sold they or no, shit. they almost they got can't. saved. They almost got saved by um, it was Jesus. It was a last minute back out by um, Outback. Outback almost bought them out okay. because of a giant hepatitis outbreak. There's a giant hepatitis outbreak that killed four people. Killed? Yep. At what? At Chi-Chi's? Yep. Yeah. No, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Outback, dude. Fuck they they dude. almost like, they almost don't get me wrong. Seven forty nine for whatever like shrimp fajitas, chichitas. It took me a while to register. That's what they did. They put chichis on fajitas, and that's why they call it chichitas, right? Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Seven forty nine for that plus a big fucking banana split. That looked really, really good, but not hepatitis and die good. But uh, I just think how crazy like how does that, how does something like that happen? Get a hepatitis outbreak in your Chi-Chi's chain? <laughs> like like it, it it had to have been one of the managers or some shit. Is that crazy? <laughs> Either that or no. What it, it, they probably bought some like product and it was tainted from like a delivery service or something and yeah. then went over. So like the sad thing is is that Chi-Chi's probably had no fucking clue. Like they probably weren't even responsible for it. Why? Well, I think I think they ended up fixing it, but just the yeah, the damage had been done. Too late. You know, you know, people were already scared to go, and that's why you know Outback they were gonna buy them out to you know be able to keep it going and running. Because yeah, now I'm thinking about the roots of the problem. That's kind of sad for the business owner. Because what if like, what if you know, uh, Papa 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 Chi Chi who named his he named. The, the chain of restaurants after his daughter, little Chi Chi, you know, and he wanted to see, maybe she died of cancer whenever, like, yeah, yeah, that's what happened. She, <laughs> whenever he was little. So he named his restaurant, worked, uh, you know, every every day that he could. He just, you know, broke his back every single day to build this, this magnificent shrimp chajitas company with banana splits for seven forty nine. <laughs> okay, he worked so hard, and then one of the contracted delivery services brought him they they stuck their dingle or some shit or possibly literally shit in the lettuce something like that and then fucking hepatitis people, people died from hepatitis and this guy you know he's reaching out he's like on his like economic deathbed you know like talking to the outback people and maybe he made the wrong australian joke <laughs> Australian joke? He made the wrong Australian joke? He said, I don't know. I, I can't come up with a good one. Uh, thoughts, thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers, Papa Chi Chi. That's not a knife, this is not. But, but he yeah. probably said something like that. He was like, hey, all you wrestle crocodiles down there? And they were like, I just think it's kind of crazy. <laughs> they were like, I think no. He, He's just, like, damn it, that's what my daughter wanted me to say. And just the, you know, the idea of how, um, how companies, you know, companies, well, uh, this is going to take it to a different place probably, but, you know, okay. Co- okay, no, I'm just saying, okay. oh, can continue. oh, oh, okay, I'm, re- I'm ready for, <laughs> we're, we're, we're on the road, this is, gonna t- this is going to take it to a different place, but, um, yeah, cut, <laughs> but, uh, Fuck, I forgot what you're, I was saying. You're going to take it to a different place. You're different. about to talk this about This is probably going to take it to a different place. How Aussie stereotypes. Are no, not. Aussie stereotypes. No, no, no. I want to talk about buyouts. Like, like, just think about the idea of, like, a company buying another company. And doesn't that, like, kind of... Is that... Does that kind of um, defeat the, um, the purpose of capitalism at the end of the day? I think I, I always I always felt like the biggest problem with capitalism has been that people it's like a company that gets too large 
that can buy the other companies that it's supposed to be well competing against with because capital capital is supposed to look, capitalism is capitalism is supposed to work by companies competing against each other to produce a lower cost you know he's like they're competing with prices but when yes, a company if, gets if too big their prerogative if they choose to focus on the customer then they will if cost efficiency meets the right you know for capital but when standards. companies get too That's big and they buy out everything well you what you have to understand is most of the time especially nowadays like okay so if you think that what america is is pure capitalism you are completely wrong what we have right now in America, uh, not to get onto this weird topic, you brought up. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Topic, but America is what's referred to as crony capitalism. You have a bunch of people, these big organizations and companies, they're in the pockets of a lot of the senators and, and Congress and the people that vote, and they will vote on stupid fucking mediocre shit that lets certain companies essentially be better than the others. They'll have built a little bit for themselves and then they'll use they'll use unfair play essentially to break what would normally happen in a free market society. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they will use like the government or whatever whoever they can buy essentially to make it unfair against the other people. No, and that's oh, why of, a lot of these places, like poor Chi Chi's here, couldn't recover from that. And why? Yeah. And <laughs> well, why? I, I and why? Well, I, Chi Chi's is probably a bad. <laughs> Chi Chi's going under after a hepatitis outbreak that killed four people. That's free market <laughs> capitalism right there. See, no, what we're discussing is say like uh, if Chi Chi's would have survived that. Nobody ever heard about the four people that died because it would have been like doxxed or some shit, you know, it would have been classified. And then Chi Chi's is now the second largest food chain in America, you know. That's that's what we usually have nowadays. So I will say that like regulations were a little bit uh, easier back in the nineties whenever it came to capitalism. <sighs> Just a Crazy stuff. Big corporations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all fucking crazy, but that's the world that we live in, guys. And uh, that's why some of these, some. That's why we're looking at things that are now gone. You now know, gone. Not coming back. <laughs> Happiness. <laughs> Happiness is gone. Thanks to those, you know, <laughs> monopol monopolized. It's just kind of weird because you know. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I always think the you know the uh, the idea of everything is always great. But for some reason, nothing quite works. Yeah, the execution is never right. Yeah, it's, it's always because of, it's it's just people, you know. People are unpredictable. You can't you can't have a um, you know. It's kind of like the rules are made to be broken. That that little uh, little thing that people say rules are made to be broken. It's like you can't have like uh, these rules. Yeah. You know, you have, you have to deal with like either lazy people or greedy people. Like someone, someone affects you. Someone's going to end up affecting the line of things. That uh, that's another thing. I feel like you're, so you're exactly right on that subject. I just like feel that's, there's there's always a different influence besides just what is projected originally. There's yeah. always like something else that, that's going to affect that. I mean, the you could have a utopia survive. idea. You could yeah. have a utopia idea, but the fucking idea might not work well because you know. Phil and Eric over here don't want to get with the fucking program. Yeah. And essentially what it is is the, the people or companies that, that survive are the ones that are able to, like, go at it with an idea, with a plan, and then they keep an open mind. And then whenever that roadblock starts to come in, they can either keep trying to do... The big problem is most of them keep trying to do what they were doing, and they don't understand that they have to evolve, adapt, or die. And that's why so many of these places, like Chi Chi's, rip, rip Chi Chi's, <laughs> F, F to pay respects for Chi Chi's, is gone. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, that's how our minds work. We just kind of bounce back and forth between <laughs> super serious, dry, you know, uh, talk about capitalism and death and <laughs> hepatitis. 
Straight back to the jokes, hey! No! I, was, I know, I was for, <laughs> No, no, no. But, um, it's just, you know, you know, just things get crazy, and, um, I... Uh, things get crazy, but, uh, back to a, a, a more, um, happier note. Okay. You know, to get, get, get away from the politics for a second. Um, like we said before, just let us know in the comments what are some things that you remember from the past that are no longer there that you wish would come back. I know there's a lot of things out out there like Hubba Bubba, uh, Hubba Bubba uh, Soda. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a, Hubba Bubba I mean, Soda. I mean, that's mainly what you're going to take from this guy. Everybody's going to go home and be like, what the fuck happened to Hubba Bubba? <laughs> Hubba Bubba, Hubba Bubba Soda. Bubba. Dude, that was my shit. Um, Damn, son. Uh, a whole bunch no. of stuff. So, so yeah. Uh, like, kind of like what we were uh, discussing at the end of uh, the last episode is um, we're going to be going and ex like doing trial and error stuff on uh, different different styles of the podcast. See what you like and get more feedback from you on what we should do in the future as well. So keep sending in ideas. Letting us know like what you appreciate from it, what you're taking away from it. If you wish they were longer, if you wish they were shorter, because we're on your fucking nerves. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and just you know what, throw topics our way, and you know we will. Shit on them all day. We will get to the bottom of this. You know why we'll get to the bottom of this? Because we have opinions and we have beer, and when you mix them together, you've got some really good opinions and beer. No fear. No fear. no fear. And that's when they yeah, say, opinions and, beer. opinions and beer, opinions and beer. You can't go wrong with opinions and beer, opinions and beer, opinions and beer. That's all we got here is opinions and beer.